Hey guys, what's going on? It's your auntie, and today I'm bringing you my top 10 sneakers of 2017. These are all sneakers that I either personally like or I just think has a really cool creative theme behind it. These aren't sneakers you're gonna see on like a complex top 10 list or nice kicks and things like that. These are just sneakers that I own and that I really thought were cool sneakers in 2017. I am gonna bring you another list of my most worn sneakers of 2017 because those are actually different from this list. This list is more of a like a shout out to the people that came up with a cool design or shout out to the people that created a color I really like. There are sneakers on here that I was not able to obtain. Blue Tint Yeezy 350s were one of my favorite sneakers of the year. I just wasn't able to get them, so obviously they're not gonna be on the list. Let's just get right into it. At number 10 is the Air Jordan Black in Royal. I just think this is such a solid colorway, wearable. I love the material on it. It's really just like the Bread 4, only hits a Royal. As a big Jordan 4 fan, to me, this was like one of like the most perfect Jordan 4 creations ever. Kind of reminds me a little bit of last year when they did the Cyber Monday Jordan 3s. Like just the black and white. It was just clean, simple. You know, I like that there's no crazy theme attached. It's just solid colors, solid materials on a solid model. And number nine is the Puma Clyde in Fischetta Tan. I love Fischetta Tan on like any sneaker. I wish every sneaker I owned, I had at least one Fischetta Tan version. You know, Vans did a bunch of Jordan brand. They did on the Jordan 1. I think on the Puma Clyde, it just came out so awesome. I love the whole look of it. I like the gold hit, the embossed tongue. And if I'm not mistaken, like the Jay-Z collaboration they did with these, and then like they kind of did like a city pack where they put the area code on the back. From what I understand, I think it's the same exact shoe. You know, it's got nice leather on the inside. So it's funny because like I own these and then they started to get a little bit of hype once they did the Jay-Z collaboration. Overall, I just think it's a really solid sneaker and it was one of my favorites of 2017. At number eight, I actually haven't even done an official review of these. I, that's gonna come in, a, in about a week or so. But for me, the Ultra Boost is still one of my favorite sneakers. It's my most worn sneaker. Still so comfortable. And I love any sneaker that's maroon. It's my favorite color, burgundy. This has a really cool mix of black and burgundy. A nice wool upper too, so it's a little bit warmer, good for the winter. I love the black hit on the heel, the color of the cage. So overall, it's the ultimate combination of comfort, color, style. It's one of my personal favorite Ultra Boosts. Maybe ever. I, I kind of think it's a little bit slept on, really. But I don't want to get too much into it because I'm going to bring you guys a full review and on feed of these. At number seven is the Adidas Gazelle Prime Knit Mardi Gras. It's a collaboration with Sneaker Politics. Another shoe that I kind of thought was really slept on. I think they did a, such a cool job on this collaboration. They obviously are based in New Orleans, but they did like a Mardi Gras theme. So underneath the whole prime knit is this Mardi Gras mesh. I've got your purples, greens, golds. So they have their theme and they have some gold hits. Adidas logo on the back heel. They hit it with a gum bottom. I just think it's a great wearable, cool collaboration. You know, it's not too out there, but it has enough hits to really pop and be different. I really love that prime knit on a gazelle too. I think it's a, I think it's a really nice touch. At number six is the Air Jordan 12 Bordeaux. Once again, I talked about it. Bordeaux, burgundy, maroon. That color on a sneaker for me is just, it's, it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. That and like a tan. This looks awesome on sneakers. So when they did this, came out, I was like, this is, this sneaker's amazing. Like if this came out four or five years ago, when like people were going bananas over any Jordan, I feel like people would have gone nuts over these, especially with that Bordeaux, you know, name attached. The suede is really nice on these. A sail on the bottom, so it's not like a true white. And they didn't go too overboard. They kept it very, very simple. You know, little white and chrome hits. Overall, the simplicity, the color on a, you know, Jordan 12s. I love Jordan 12s as well. Very comfortable. It's really well done by Jordan Brand. At number five is the Converse Times NBA jersey collaboration. For me, this is more of a like Bravo type shoe where, you know, I'll only wear these a couple times a year. However, the design behind these was amazing. The whole shoe is made out of an actual Nike NBA jersey. So obviously once they teamed up, once NBA and Nike teamed up, they took an entire jersey, they cut it up, and then made a chuck out of it. So, you know, you've got your real mesh, patches, everything you'd find on an authentic NBA jersey. I just thought that was so cool. Nice leather patch. The only tough part with these is they retailed for like 250, but there's only 250 pairs made. This is pair number 91 out of 250. So talk about a limited sneaker. This is genuinely limited. 
At number four is the New Balance collaboration with Stance Socks. I just thought the colors, the materials on these were top notch. It was the first time I think Stance has collaborated with New Balance and I just think they knocked it out of the park. This is actually based off like Boston and the brownstone buildings in Boston. Just got some beautiful, luxurious colors on here. They did a whole theme with like the coordinates on the inside, came with a special pair of socks. It's really one of the more beautiful New Balances I've ever seen. At number three, this is a sneaker I've wanted for years. It is the Nike for J. Crew Kill Shot 2. I've always seen these on like Grid from Above and like Outfit Grid and on Instagram. They've always paired with like a nice shirt. And I'm just always like, those shoes are so good. I guess they released a J. Crew years ago, sold out. Then they brought them back. And since then, I've bought in three pairs. For me, I work an office job in 95. So it's business casual. So, you know, I can, I can wear whatever I want. But sometimes wearing like loud shoes is a little too much for the office like I'm not just gonna show up in LeBron 9 big bangs it brings attention whereas a shoe like this I could wear this for a week straight it goes with a lot of outfits it goes with business casual has that J, J. Crew style it reminds me of like a pair of Vans or Stan Smith timeless classic gum bottom nice leather upper blue swoosh everything about this shoe I absolutely love it one of my most worn sneakers this year at number two I mean, kind of obvious, not much to say, the Royal One. For me, I mean, I already have the uh, last pair of Royal Ones that dropped. I actually am trying to wear those to death so I can eventually break these out. I'm keeping these on ice for now, but it's it's the Jordan Royal One. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's arguably one of the better sneakers of all time. So I, I don't need to say anything else. And at number one, maybe you see this coming, maybe you didn't. It is the Oanti Times Saucony Green Monster. I had, to, I had to put this up there. This was by far for me my favorite sneaker because it was by far one of the coolest things I've ever done. I gotta say thanks again to Saucony for giving all of us the opportunity to collaborate, create our own shoe. An amazing experience. The release on this, the support from you guys was, was a very special moment in my life. It was just felt great to see the response, to see people support and, and genuinely like the shoe. So uh, for me, this is still a very big deal and I just absolutely love this. It's like I still can't believe it. So who knows? Maybe we'll do a round two with Saucony. Maybe we'll blow them up in their Instagram comments or Twitter and say, give, give everyone a round two. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's my top 10. I know it's random. I know it's not going to be like, you know, what everyone else is, but it's just 10 sneakers I thought were cool or I liked. And that's that. So guys, 2017 has been another great year. I want to give a big thanks to all the viewers, a big thanks to all the brands, everyone in the sneaker industry that's uh, supported me, helped me out in any way. And uh, it was a fun year and I hope 2018 can be bigger and better. I'm going to try to bring you guys more videos than I did the last few months. I know I've kind of fizzled out a little bit, but I'm going to be back grinding out videos, hopefully, you know, daily again. So stay tuned. Let me know what your favorite sneaker was that I showed in this top 10 list and feel free to leave yours in the comments. Other than that, I am out of here, guys. Have a good new year. Take care. Peace.